The Chicago Force women's football team had a banner 2013, a perfect season, winning the national championship, all led by their multi-talented superstar quarterback, Sammy Grisafi, who's found her voice both on and off the field. Playing hooked in Chicago. The daughter of country singing parents, Sammy Grisafi, grew up with music. I've always enjoyed music. It's always been a part of my life, but I never felt like it was my thing because I was always trying to sound like somebody else, you know? I always wanted to sound like a Disney princess or something, you know? <laughs> that's that idea of what a, a girl should sound like. But tackling the unexpected is just who she is. Football has been in my life since I was 10 years old. I was the first girl in California to play quarterback in a varsity division one game. There's no other sport like it, and I've played a lot. And it just, something gets inside of you when you play it, it's magic. And it has been for Sammy, now in her seventh season as quarterback of the Chicago Force. Sammy is coming off an MVP year where she threw for 4,301 yards and 57 touchdowns, leading the Force to their first national championship. This ring means, I mean, it means a lot. It means pretty much my entire football career. Because it also means when I was a little girl and people would come up to me and say, you're wasting your time, what are you doing? I can say, well, looks like you were wrong because I'm still playing the game and your son is not. And it's through football that a door opened for her singing career. Are you more comfortable behind center or on a stage? You know, that's a difficult question because they both are similar. You're definitely more vulnerable on a stage and you're singing, I'm singing songs about my life. Let's take it from there. But there's a quote from Janis Joplin that I use as kind of my North Star that the most important thing, whatever you do when you're on stage, you just don't lie to people and you make sure that you're telling the story truthfully. And so that's kind of been my only thing that I really have to worry about. As long as I'm telling the truth, I'm doing my job. Okay, Sammy has sung the national anthem at Wrigley already. She's sung before her own games. She just got back from a tour through her home state of Chicago, and now she's leading the force. They're 4-0 already on the season. Impressive. I, I'm not going to quote Janis Joplin. I'm going to quote <laughs> Sammy. I'm still playing the game, and your son is not. Best line, right? That's the swagger <laughs> of a star quarterback right there. And look, Jordan Palmer, I don't know if he's a good number two. Uh, uh, Who's replacing Josh McCown? I She's right here. I think, listen, Mark Trestman's the quarterback whisperer. Yes. Uh, here we go. Here we go. She did say this is going to be her last season playing football. But wanted, the Bears call. Well, it's true. But she wanted a chance to defend that title at home as the force will host the championship this August at Lane Tech. So. They're 4-0 so far. I know, Just won right? 30 to nothing start. against West Michigan. I know. So impressive. Sammy, thanks for letting us tell your story.